What is up everybody and welcome back to the Hammerdance YouTube channel. Today we're doing the next video in the OBS Masterclass 2021 edition series that we are putting out currently. This is going to be a video on the best settings you guys can use for streaming with OBS. These are the best current settings. Uh, right now we're at the end of 2020 basically. So this is why I'm calling it the 2021 edition. Um, so we're going to get you the best possible quality without sacrificing a ton of performance on your machine. But before we do that, guys, let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Own.TV. Own.TV is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover. But let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics. Don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, guys. So just like we said before, we're going to be going over the best possible settings you guys can use currently right now at the end of 2020, beginning of 2021 for streaming on any platform that you're going live on. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to jump down here, hit your settings button. This is going to open up all of our settings and this is going to help us. We're going to go through everything. I'm going to explain to you guys what it does and why we're doing it. So in the general tab here, nothing crazy that's going to affect your performance or the quality of your stream. However, as you guys know, I've always said this in the past, if you're not using dark mode, I don't even want you watching my videos. I mean, you could really use whatever you want, but dark mode is like, please put it on dark mode because everything it's, this is like, look at this. It's horrible. This one is just really bad. Don't know what that's all about. Rackney. I don't like this. If you do, that's fine. I don't. System? Yeah, we want to we want to feel like we're in 1995. No thanks. We're going to use dark mode because we are we are good people. All right. So, just kidding though. Use whatever theme you want. I use dark mode. It's easy on the eyes. Makes everything look nice and bubbly. Very easy to read. Okay. So, first tab we're going to go down to here is the stream tab. This is where you are going to select your streaming service. So, if you're streaming on Twitch, you select Twitch. If you're streaming on YouTube, you select YouTube. Facebook Live, you know, you get the drill here. Uh, we're going to keep it on Twitch because that's where we stream. And our server, we're going to keep that on auto. Uh, that'll basically select the best server closest to you to give you the best possible ping. You can select servers manually. Um, I don't really know why you would want to do that, but we're going to keep that on auto for the sake of this video because that's what I always use. Then, uh, right now, my Twitch account is connected here, um, but if it is yours is not, you will get the option to log into your Twitch account, and that connects OBS to your Twitch, so you do not need to copy and paste your stream key like you did back in the day. It's automatically applied there uh, because your accounts are linked, so that's a good feature that they did add over the past year. Next tab we are going to go to is the output tab. Here is where we are going to mess with some settings. Okay, so right now we have the streaming tab. That's what we're going over right now. Next video is going to be recording settings. So we will worry about that in the next video. Right now, make sure you're on the streaming tab. Um, right here at the top is where you're going to select your encoder. Your encoder is what basically takes and, and compresses your video. And then that is what's being thrown out to Twitch or YouTube or Facebook. So it's pretty important. If you have a 10 series card or higher NVIDIA, you want to use the NVENC H264 new encoder. If you're using a dual PC setup maybe and you have a really good processor or you have a really good processor in a single PC setup, you can use X264. Um, that is, you know, it, there's a lot of, of controversy around this. I feel like using NVENC, most people have nine, 10 higher uh, NVIDIA GPUs at this point. Um, use NVENC. It's gonna save you a ton of performance on your machine. Trust me on that, just use it. The quality difference is not gonna be no one's going to really care. No one's going to notice it. So trust me on that. Just use that. If you're using an AMD card, then maybe you want to use your X264, um, you know, your, your CPU for the encoding. So for the sake of this video, we're going to say go with NVENC H264 new as your encoder. Don't touch anything here for rescale output. Um, if you did want to downscale your stream, you can do that later on. We're not going to use the rescale output feature at this time. You want to uncheck in for streaming service encoder settings, your rate control, you're going to keep that on CBR. Um, so if you're streaming at 
1080p, 60 frames, you wanna use a bitrate of around 6,000. You don't really wanna go much higher than that um, because you do get limited by Twitch. Um, if you're doing 720 at 60 frames, you can get away with using about 3,500 bitrate, um, but 6,000 is a solid starting point. Um, and it's usually, it's gonna work pretty much for everyone. If you're trying to do 1080, definitely gonna work. Keyframe interval, you wanna set that to two. Your preset quality, I have mine set to max quality. I'm using a 2070 uh, Super. Um, if you need to, if you're getting some overloading, you can drop it down to quality. The difference between these two is very minimal and you probably won't notice it. Profile, we're gonna set that to high. We're gonna check look ahead and psycho visual tuning. GPU set to zero, max B frames, set that to two. Next tab here is the audio tab. This is where you can set up your audio devices such as your microphones, your headset, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm using a Go XLR, which is why you guys see only one audio device um, enabled here, which is basically my Go XLR takes my microphone, my system sounds, my game sounds, my Discord sounds, mixes them all down into this, which is called the broadcast stream mix. And then that's what's portrayed in my stream or my recordings. So if you do not have a Go XLR, you want to set your desktop audio device to whatever your default is. You can just set it to default and then set your microphone to whatever microphone you are using here. Um, aside from that, nothing else crazy in the audio tab that we are going to do. Um, just set up your, your devices right there and you should be good. Keep your sample rate at 48 and channel to stereo. Next, we're gonna move down to the video tab. So this is where, let's say you are, you know, you're gaming in 2K or, or 1080p and you wanna stream in 720, maybe you don't have the best um, specs on your system. So you wanna stream in 720 at 60 frames, um, but you're gaming in 1080p or 2K on one single machine. So this right here is where you would downscale that. You would you would make sure your base resolution is whatever you're, you're using, whatever you're playing games at or whatever you're doing. And then your output, your scaled resolution, we're gonna click the little drop down. I can't right now because I'm recording, but you can click the drop down and then select 1280 by 720. And that will now downscale your stream or your recording to 720 at 60 frames. Your downscale filter, you want to keep it on Lanxos, which is the, the third one down, um, just for the sharpest image. It, it's not really much of a performance hit, so I suggest doing that. I wouldn't drop it any lower because you actually can see a little bit of uh, dullness in your video when you do drop that. And here's your FPS values. You, you Most people are streaming in 60 FPS at this point. You can drop it if you want. Um, I suggest trying to get it to 60. It's always better. I feel if you're playing fast moving games, any kind of shooter or anything like that, you would. I would suggest lowering your resolution. So downscale your resolution a little bit and keep the 60 FPS because it just makes it easier for the viewers to watch, a little smoother on your eyes and it's just easier to watch a more, more pleasant video. All right, so the next tab over here, we have hotkeys. This is where you can basically set up hotkeys on your keyboard, uh, basically macros that if you hit them, they can do certain things. So like, let's say you wanted to, you know, hit, you want to be able to hit backslash on your keyboard and that'll hit, that'll start your stream. You basically would click in here and then hit backslash and that binds that key to this function within OBS. So you can basically set up any function you want within OBS or within any scene um, bound to a key on your keyboard. Pretty cool that this is a feature in here. Um, you can basically make your keyboard do whatever you want. Um, you don't have to move over and, and you know click things in, in OBS if you don't want to. You can set up hotkeys for almost any feature within OBS. So realistically guys, that's all the settings you are gonna need to know about to set up your OBS and go live. If you do have any questions though, drop them in the comments below. Um, you know, everyone has different specs on their system. Everyone has different equipment. So I do know that this video isn't going to be exact for everybody but feel free to drop some comments down below. And if you are asking a question, you know, and you want to know the correct settings for, for one of these settings, please let me know the specs of your system, at least your CPU, your RAM, and your uh, graphics card, just so I know what I'm working with and I can give you my best advice possible. But anyways, guys, that's all that I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you benefited from it because some people really struggle with setting up um, OBS for the first time. If you've never streamed before, it, it definitely can be you know, quite hard to, to figure out if you don't know what most of these settings do. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. That lets me know that you did like it. Consider subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. All right, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.